Good morning, everybody. I'm not sure if you're seeing me. Here we go. All right. Um, good morning, everybody. How are you? Um, I'm trying a new system here at my office, and it's just a little different for me. So uh, check in. Let me know how you are. This is a happy Monday. And um, we've got a lot to cover today regarding the Facebook uh, seven day challenge because I wanted to give you more information and how to navigate. Can you guys hear me okay, by the way? Please check in, let me know. I wanna make sure that all my systems are up and running effectively, efficiently. You can hear me, you can see me okay. All these good things, because it's gonna be really important. Um, for those of you, I'm not gonna go into too much of the actual seven day challenge because I have the videos on Friday and I also have the videos on Thursday talking about it. So if you miss those, I highly encourage you to watch them. But today I wanted to say is the official launch and I added some prizes. So um, the rules would be, um, I wanna share the prizes at the end actually. Okay, I'm really excited about this. You gotta show up to the Facebook Lives, okay? Every Facebook Live, we only do them, there's gonna be three this week and one Monday, so that's four. Um, you gotta show up every, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta comment, you gotta participate. That's paramount, because if you're not participating, then you're not doing the challenge, and you're just looking for something for free. So, to weed this out, I wanna make sure that you are actually serious about this challenge and that, um, and I want to make sure because I can't see anybody's comments. Um, okay, I want to make sure I can see your comments. So please make sure you're doing that. Two, um, here's the other rule. You got to post er daily for the next seven days your experiences in the journey of what you're experiencing. You know, I gave the mechanics of it, like I said, Thursday and into Friday in the Facebook Lives. So that's the mechanics of it. And we're gonna do the experiential and go through um, another level of that today. And um, because the card I pulled today again is the Middle Earth card. So for some reason, this is showing up again and again and again. So rule number two is that you got to post daily for the next seven days your experiences. This is for accountability. This is also for support and visibility. Fourth, you got to comment and support each other on these threads, and you also got to comment and participate um, in these Facebook Lives, okay? And the winners will be announced on Monday, July 6th during the Facebook Live, okay? And um, in case you missed the Middle Earth, I'm not going to go too, too, too much into Middle Earth. We went over a lot of it extensively on Tuesday last week. So uh, make sure you watch that video. But the essence of the Middle, Earth, uh, the Middle World card, I apologize, has to do with the realm of like the day-to-day -day stuff. It's the day-to-day -day reality. This is kind of like the, the playground here, right? So it's the present moment. It's where everything is happening, yet the middle world is also created by the future as well as not only the past, okay? And it is a mirror for the invisible realms, which I chuckled because when I came to my office today, and I was looking at the oceans and they were like glass. And all I kept hearing was the word reflections. So please chime in on the post I did this morning with the photo when I first arrived, set showing saying, should we name this seven day challenge like reflections? Because there's a lot that we're doing here. There's a lot of meat here. So I'd be curious to see if that um, resonates with you. So when things are right in the middle, right? Um, the world, heaven, and earth are kind of supporting everything. Everything is being supported as it's meant to be. So when things aren't right, this is where the heaven and the earth need to be kind of brought into order. This is kind of where we're at right now, right? How many of you are feeling that right now? Show me some some love or some likes and let me know to make sure that you're, you're understanding this. And um, so 
the invitation that we're going to go into is when the middle or world card is showing up again like i said over and over this is when conditions are favorable for the undertaking we are still in mercury retrograde and i'm working out my technology bugs i am trying really hard not to get frustrated <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm listening to show me how this needs to be best done. And that's what I'm doing. So right now, the middle world card is showing up when conditions are favorable for this undertaking, right? So the fact that the middle world card is showing up today, during the, the official launch of the seven day challenge, this is time to not hesitate. So if you've been hesitating, saying, I don't know if I can get up in the morning, I'm, this is hard, I don't know if I can do this, um, or maybe, well, you know, somebody else is probably you know, more deserving than me, stop that talk, you hear me? Because if you're here right now, then you are worthy, and this is time to step it up and rise and raise your vibration, shift the mindset, shift the vibration. I am here working really hard with you. This is for us to work together. You got it? And so this is time to move forward, right? This is what we've been experiencing for the last going on 16 weeks. Guys, we've been doing this 16 weeks. Hard to believe, right? So this is where time to move forward. The heaven and the earth are now, everything is in alignment as it's meant to be. This is the right time. So it's no coincidence we're launching this seven day launch on how to manage the triggers, how to shift the mindset, how to shift the vibration so we can break through these anxieties, these frustrations, these blocks that are blocking us and hindering us from this new earth that is developing, okay? So this is time to also be mindful when we're doing this to not be reckless. I'm not going to go too, too much into the Middle Earth again. There's so much more detail that I went into this on Tuesday. So what I would like you to do right now, if you haven't checked in yet, and for some reason I am not seeing the comments again, I don't know why. Um, but if you are commenting, I will definitely... Oh, I'm just going to do a test right here. I'm just going to do check, 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 make sure comments are working, hopefully. Um, so please definitely check in in the comments below. I need to know this is part of some of the things we're going to be giving away. I'm really excited. I was thinking all weekend since Friday what I could give away that would be meaningful to you all. And I'm hoping that this can be, um, yeah, I've got a lot churning here. But anyway, this is the start. This is where we're starting. So what I would like you to do is stand. Make sure your feet are flat on the ground. And just take a deep breath right now. And first we're going to do just the Gokai to kind of set the tone. All right. And then we're going to go into checking into the body, seeing where our balance is. We're going to meditate on this whole Middle Earth to see what's showing up for us. So we can move forward and see, see what it is that needs to shift. And then we're going to do an exercise to shift some of that vibration. I cued in a song for us um, to, to help us move some of this energy. So you know that you have the power to shift your energy and vibration at any time when we decide to do it, okay? So here we go, starting with the Gokai. Kyo dakiwa, ikaruna, shenpai suna, kanchaste, gyo hagame, itoni shensetsuni. Kyo dakiwa, ikaruna, shinpai suna, kanchaste, gyo hagame, itoni shinsetsuni. Kyo dakiwa, ikaruna, shinpai suna, kanchaste, gyo hagame, itoni shinsetsuni. Now take a deep breath in your nose down into the tandem and out the mouth. Take another deep breath in your nose and out your mouth. And while you're standing with your feet parallel to your shoulders, so shoulder width apart, I want you just to close your eyes and just scan your body for your energy on a one being really, really low, 
10 being really, really high. And just check your energy to see where we're at right here, right now. And then post that into the comments box. And once you have done that, what I would like you to do is then just check your energy. So in the front and in the back, to the side, to the other side, to left, to the right, to the top, to the bottom. This is checking your balance, the weight. Where is the weight in the body? Where is the weight? And post that into the comments box below. Okay. And I'm hoping you guys are doing this because I'm not seeing any comments. <laughs> so if I, I will have to check in afterwards and comment um, to make sure that, and I will comment after, I promise. So now just take a deep pause as you're doing this. And if you feel like you want to sit for this next phase, you can. If you feel like you want to lay down for this next phase, you can. Okay. So this is where just take a deep breath. This is the invitation of the Middle Earth. This is the time to not correct what the Middle Earth is showing us. But what needs to be corrected is up here. It's the heavens. It's our soul. It's, it's our ego. It's correcting that balance. So with the next breath in, what I would like you to do is just ask for divine guidance. Ask to show you what needs to be, what is unseen that needs to be seen. Ask to show you in the body. First go into the body. To show you what is unseen that needs to be seen. This is a time to surrender the mind. Go with the ebbs and the flows of surrendering and just allowing yourself to just receive. What is surfacing for you right here and right now? What is that emotion that is attached? Continuing yourself to breathe into the center into the belly, breathing out through the mouth, continuing to surrender the mind and just surrendering and allowing yourself to just receive. What is it that is surfacing for you right here, right now? Knowing that you are completely safe, surrounded, and protected. Trusting in the natural flow seeing and believing, surrendering, that your soul knows better than you at this time. Let it show you what it needs to be seen that is currently unseen in your own shadows at this time.
Where in the body is it being held? How is it presenting itself? Is it a tension? Is it a weight? Is it just a feeling? Breathing in and breathing out. Trusting in that flow. Trusting in the being. Trusting in just what is. Now with the next exhale, exhale out any tension, anything that needs to be released. Again, just checking your balance, checking your energy, breathing in and breathing out. And just seeing if you see a shift at this time. Trusting in the natural flow of things. Trusting in the medicine with the Middle Earth. Knowing that the resources to support this change or endeavor that we are considering may not be readily available to us just yet. But it is so important to ask for help and guidance from those invisible realms, from those helpers that are divine team. And right now we are practicing for day one, surrendering and just allowing ourselves to receive and just paying attention to the body, paying attention to what is just showing up for us right here and right now. So when you say, scan your body once more the second time, where is your energy? On a scale of one to 10 being really low that could be like sadness, depression, very low, anger. 10 being high vibration, joy, right? And check your balance once more. Where is the balance? Where is the weight? In the front, in the back, to the left, to the right, to the top, to the bottom. Where is this weight? Where is your balance? And share that experience, just that quick breathing exercise that we just did. What showed up for you? And then what I would like you to do after you share, I would like you to stand. Body, move, my put your hands out, my breath and fire stretch, my spirit, earth put your hands body, behind your head, my blood, stretch, my breath and fire my spirit. move, move whatever's stuck, move your arms as fast as you can. You can do this for 30 seconds. Earth, my body, water, my blood, air, my breath, and fire, my spirit. 
fast as you can. You should feel it in your shoulder blades. You're moving out all that old stuff. All that stuff that is stuck. Move it as fast as you can. Okay. Now just move ahead. Whatever else you feel that you need to move, move it. You guys should be pros at this by now, going in 16 weeks. Move it. How you guys doing? You moving some of that stuff? Okay. Ah, so, now I'm going to be checking comments. So I'm hoping that you guys commented on this stuff. Here are the prizes. So, we have a not showing up very well but it is a oop, can't see it gratitude ornament that was made by a friend of mine and so this is a item that I cherish she does these amazing works this is a Tibetan um, bracelet here and um, both of those are uh, about $10 each we have this one now, which is made by a friend of mine. It is, includes um, pink quartz, sterling silver. It's got amethyst, freshwater pearl, and it's sterling silver. So that's about a value of about 65 to $85. Um, and I'm also gonna be raffling off a 30 minute private session as well as a, um, a full scholarship to the next virtual Bless Your Junk class and um, as prizes. So the keys again for you to win these prizes is you gotta show up to these Facebook Lives between now and Monday, every single one, set your alarms, um, comment, make sure that you're commenting and that you're participating, that you got to post daily to what your experiences are over the next seven days and what your journey has been. This is for accountability. This is to push you. This is to, to help you grow. And it's also for visibility. It's also important that you support each other. So I'm going to be looking at who's commenting on other people's threads and support each other. So these are the prizes that I'm offering for the seven day challenge. And um, please make sure you're commenting and let me know because uh, I cannot see for some reason again today. So, um, but I will be checking in on the comments after this Facebook Live is over. And, um, but I'm hoping that you had a good start to your Monday. And just think about the things today about how to bridge the balance between Middle Earth and the heavens, okay? This is what Mercury Retrograde is teaching us. Think of the mirror, think of reflection, okay? And I look forward to seeing you Wednesday, if not sooner, 8.30 sharp here. See you then.